I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite smoothies, which is my carrot cake smoothie recipe. Now, what you're going to love about this is not only do you get the hint of walnuts and carrots, as you do in the cake, you also get a little hint of lime as well. And the yogurt combined with the lime gives you kind of like that cream cheese icing flavor as well. So I think you're gonna have a lot of fun introducing the family to this and ask them to guess what ingredients are in it. This is actually a whole breakfast. Not only are you getting the vegetables and the fiber from the carrots, you're also going to be getting the health benefits of walnuts which are incredibly good for the brain and yogurt so it has a probiotic quality to this now we need probiotics in the body for an for a healthy immune system so wherever you can try and sneak yogurt or even milk kefir into your smoothies we're going to start by kneading two cups of any kind of milk of your choice you could use a whole organic milk or you could use one of the nut milks one cup of Yogurt. Now what you're wanting in your yogurt is always natural unsweetened high probiotic yogurt. You'll also need half a cup of oats that have been soaked overnight. The soaking of grains is really essential to increase the absorption of the, of the nutrients and also make them more digestible. You'll need half a cup of walnuts which will pulse through at the end. We still want a little bit of the crunch from the walnuts coming through for texture. You'll need four organic carrots that you've just peeled lightly and then chopped into chunks and about six medjool dates to taste. And then you've got two options with the rest of it. If you don't have edible essential oils, you could always use quarter of a lime. Now, when you're using lime, use the lime including the zest. You want the whole quarter of the lime added to this. Or else use two drops of lime essential oil in this. Likewise, with the cinnamon bark oil, you'll need one drop of essential oil for this, or you can swap that out for one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and you'll also need a third of a teaspoon of ground cardamom and that's gonna give it a nice warming exotic flavor. So start of course by adding all of the liquids to the bottom of the blender. Your milk followed by your yogurt. Then pop the carrots in the bottom and your soaked oats. You don't need to worry about straining those. And don't forget to always take the pip out of your dates before using them. Then add in your ground cardamom. And two drops of lime oil, or quarter of a whole lime. And one drop of cinnamon bark oil, or one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then you want to blend it up until all the ingredients are combined well. Then once everything's all combined, what you need to do is add the walnuts at this point and just push the pulse button one or two or three times. You still want the nuts to be present in it. You don't want to blend it in. You kind of want some texture in the smoothie. It's kind of what makes it a little bit special. I think how you serve smoothies is really, really important, especially for young children. So I always have a range of little parfait glasses like this, so when my children were growing up, if I serve something like that, they're a lot more likely to enjoy it. The crunch of the walnuts with the sweet sweetness of the dates and the carrots combined with a little hint of cardamom spice makes this absolutely special.